Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I'm at the Bang & Olufsen stand just after their press session at the IFA show booth. So this is their new OLED television. This is their first OLED television and it was actually done in collaboration with LG Electronics. Now this is slightly interesting because rather than purchase the OLED panels directly from LG Display, which is what let's say Sony and Panasonic has done, the Sony A1 and the Panasonic EZ1002 and the EZ952 OLED, what the Japanese manufacturers have done is to purchase the OLED panels directly from LG Display and then apply their own processing. The Panasonic HCX2 in Panasonic's case and the X1 Extreme chipset in Sony's case. But what Bang & Olufsen or BNO have done is to collaborate with LG Electronics. So LG Electronics themselves have actually come up with this panel. So the internal video processing and also the WebOS platform, which is WebOS 3.5, is exactly the same as LG's 2017 OLED televisions. But what BNO is adding to the party is their craftsmanship, their design and their audio solution. So in terms of the design, it obviously has a very slim panel, slim bezel, but it has actually a glass bottom bit which extends beyond the speaker that actually protrudes beyond the screen and it actually has three channels and can actually act as a center channel in conjunction with other Bang & Olufsen speakers such as the BioLabs loudspeakers. The TV also comes with a, a Bio One remote control which is a slender stick that not only allows you to control the television but also other devices in your territory. Interestingly, this TV comes with seven HDMI ports, which, is, which caught me by surprise. But what it apparently is, is that there are three HDMI ports at the top bit, and then one HDMI port acts as a, an ARC output or audio return channel to the sound system. So it's essentially you have three HDMI ports in the output, and then three HDMI ports on the soundbar itself, giving you a total, effective total of six HDMI ports. It is essentially an LG OLED panel, so it will support all the HDR formats that the LG OLED will support, which is namely HDR10, uh, HLG, and also Dolby Vision HDR. I still need to clarify with uh, Bang & Olufsen whether it actually will support Technicolor HDR. In terms of the design itself, it can be wall-mounted, as is the case here, but even when wall-mounted, there's a motorized mechanism that you can use through your remote control with a touch of the button to swivel the screen to your optimal viewing position. And also it can actually be placed on a motorized stand which can slide silently along the floor to your optimal viewing position so that you don't need to move from your chair and you can hide or stow the TV away when you don't need to actually see it. In terms of colors and contrast, obviously this is OLED so you will have true blacks, you will have vibrant colors, you will have white viewing angles and what Bang & Olufsen have done is to adopt the term Eclipse to basically celebrate the marriage of two outstanding elements in terms of the picture quality from LG OLED panels and also from the sound and design expertise from their own company. And the TV will be available in 55 inches and also 65 inches. It won't come cheap as you can expect for a BNO product. This is a high-end manufacturer. And the 55-inch BioVision Eclipse will cost around £8,290, whereas the 65-inch version will cost around £11,590. And the availability is slated for later this year, maybe even as soon as now in certain retailers, European retailers. This is Vincent Thiel here reporting from IFA in Berlin. If you have found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.